Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the spacing tool in 3ds Max. Now, I have already created a scene where I have given the example of the spacing tool. Now, spacing tool is something where you can distribute your object like uh, this lamp post I have created and distribute it according to a spline object or a curve object or a line. So here is a mock uh, road sort of thing. You can use it in any sort of design. So let me show you how to do this. Just select and delete them. So I have created this object through a box and using bend and I draw this line from the shape objects line and I got my lamp post from the primitives uh, it's from civil view traffic signal so <coughs> these are the three elements that I'm going to use so first of all what you have to do is you can select any object or you go to tools align spacing tool now this is really important tools align spacing tool now here is an option of peak path or peak points now i'm going to use the peak path options uh, by default i think it's three i have just uh, used it earlier so that the last value was there 29 but uh, the basic value or the default value is three so i'll select this and after selecting that i say pick path and select the line one immediately you will see the objects have been distributed now by default the count was three so you can just increase them and you can see your objects are actually been distributed now there is one catch that you uh, need to understand that if you want to use spacing now this is really tricky that if you are using a particular uh, line then it's it's become very difficult for to calculate uh, the object so now the spacing if you are if you really want to uh, use the spacing what is it is actually calculating the start point and the end point of that particular line so I'm not going to use this one now if you start offset and say increase it now you can see that start point of that particular line has hasn't been actually used sorry sometimes it's not updating I really don't have any idea why but anyway uh, so this is the start offset and the end offset options so I'm not going to use it here is a different kind of uh, operating uh, uh, I mean clauses that has been uh, introduced like if you want it centrally space uh, specify spacing or maybe an end offset maybe space from end specify number or all sort of so you can try them out but uh, div uh, divide evenly and objects at ends is the most uh, used uh, uh, option in this particular tool so here the context is either you want to use the center or the edges I'll definitely go for center uh, type of object copy instance or reference definitely go for instances until unless you want a copy of that object the most important and very interesting one is the follow one now for this one I am going to show you from top view yeah now here you can see the the lamp post is actually looking uh, straight not following the curvature of the line for following that I have to turn on the follow like see immediately what happened that uh, the lamp posts are actually started following e I'm following the curvature of that particular line so this is very interesting one because using this follow option is not necessary every time I'll show you another example where uh, this particular follow option if if it is turned on it will work weirdly so what I am doing it I'm hitting apply so that this particular uh, option will be turned on by default so I'm hitting apply and uh, after hitting apply what will happen it will be registered so don't uh, forget uh, to hit the button apply okay now what I will do you what I will do is uh, 
create a standard primitive cylinder something like this radius will be way low maybe yeah okay and I create a helix yeah oops sorry Wait a minute, I need a little bigger one. Yeah. Oh, what I'm doing? I keep forgetting this was... Anyway, a little bright color. Okay, so... Now I have to distribute this. Let's suppose this is a, a spiral staircase. Uh, well, anyway, you can see how to make a spi spiral staircase with the uh, uh, array tool in other tutorials. There is a tutorial on the array also. You can find that. Anyway, uh, so select this one. Go to align, spacing tool. Now, select the handrails and select pick path. Select this one. Select the line. Now, you can see as I have turned on the follow option what is happening over here is they are actually following so the the handrails the handrails are actually not looking like which which generally it should be so here we don't need the follow option so you have to just increasing the increase the count and hit apply So here is your uh, uh, handrails pretty much aligned with that particular object. Now what you can do is you can convert this particular line yeah so like this way you can easily distribute the handrails according to a yeah, according to a, sp a spline or the uh, shape objects in 3ds Max. So, hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us in Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much.